uh, Teresa the Kid. Teresa the Kid says, Teresa "Thank you for kid. walking away. Thank you for the super chat, Teresa." And um, and yeah, walking away. There's lots of different ways you can walk away. What one of the ways I um, I kind of I, I I was on this interview with some walk away people like a year and a half ago. Uh, we were on Gavin McGinnis's show before he got canceled from whatever that network was. It was a right wing network. I forget a conservative network. Wait, wasn't it? Um, wasn't it uh, purchased by Blaze TV? It was the one that was yes, CRTV. Yes, it became and it was purchased Blaze, by Blaze, and then they yeah. got rid of him. Right. Yeah. So I was on there with my friend Mike Harlow. I was on there with Brandon Stracht, Stracht from who who founded Walkaway. Mm-hmm. Um, Brandon Tatum, my friend Gracie West, who's also a former SJW. A couple different people. One of the things I was saying in that interview that. Th- there's so many different ways to walk away. You don't have to walk away and just become, and then become a Republican or become like a really hard right winger or whatever it is in your mind that you think. So I'm still, I still consider myself a liberal. I'm a classical liberal. And I really don't like the idea of ceding the term liberal to them, like just relinquishing it to them because they are a liberal. SJWs are illiberal. And so I also think, um, I hear from people all the time who are kind of waking up and leaving the SJW part of the left. And some of them are very, they're very afraid of this process. Cause imagine what it's like if you're in a cult and you don't realize it and you start to realize it and you start to try to leave, it's going to happen slowly, but you're also afraid because you've been told this other side is like the evil dark side. Right. And, and you, some people may fear leaving. They stay in the SJW side because they, they believe in this false dichotomy of, like you're either with the SJW left or you're a freaking Nazi, right? Like the two things. They, which Those is, are the which options. Is That's it. Yeah. That's crazy. And yeah. so I try to, yeah, like Angie in chat says, they are leftists. I am liberal. Yes, Angie. They are leftists. They are not liberal. They are leftist authoritarians. And I want to help create a welcoming space for other liberals. And I think there are, there are lots of people, there are a few different people doing this now. Dave Rubin, um, Tim Pool, there's people who just don't fall into. It's hard. It's hard to put labels on everyone, right? But I want people to 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 think about what the word liberal means, to think about what liberalism is, and try and line that up with what the SJW left is about. And it doesn't line up. And so, for people who don't feel comfortable, like you know, don't don't fall prey to this idea that there's only two options, right? Like. And some people walk away and they do, they become very loud and proud Republicans and yay for them. I mean, whatever works for you and whatever your beliefs are great, but, but there, there's also room for liberals to take that term back from them. I think it's important. I think liberals and conservatives need each other. We are both, we have more in common with one another than we do with SJW leftists. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, uh, Having had having had to give up on some terms in the past, I'm kind of like I don't know. I, I'm willing to give up on liberal if if you want liberal, take it. Uh, I'm I, not giving it to them. I, I get it. I get it. Um, I would prefer to have the conversation. Here's what I would prefer. I'd prefer to get rid of liberal, conservative, left, right, Republican, Democrat. I would prefer to get rid of all those terms and start having conversations about individualism versus collectivism, authoritarianism versus individualism. Like, where are you on that scale? Because that's the scale that matters. And what, what yeah. they've done, if you've ever seen that, people have seen this two-dimensional chart, which goes around a lot, which is like, it's like if you're in this corner, you're a libertarian, and if you're in that corner, you're, you know, whatever. So it's like yeah. right, left, and it's like, okay, you're if you're authoritarian about social issues, but, but, but liberal about um, monetary issues, then you are, what's that, on the right. But if you're authoritarian on, uh, on, monetary issues but liberal on social issues then you're on the left right and those two corners of that graph are are, that's kind of where all the dialogue is but i actually think that is orthogonal to where the dialogue should be it should be on these two corners of the graph i don't really care whether you want to be authoritarian about money or drugs i just don't want you to be authoritarian (laughs) like we can like (laughs) <laughs> that, that we should be talking about the other yeah. two vertices of that, not these yeah. two, these two. It should be, yeah. do you want to leave people the hell alone? Okay, well, you're inconsistent if you don't want to leave them the hell alone here, but you do there. But you're still somewhere on the leave the people alone scale. Yeah. and Or you're on control people scale. And that's why I don't really, 
That's why I think I don't really care. This might be a great time, I think, to shift the discussion. Trump's not a Republican. Uh, the, the left is busy stealing words left and right, redefining crap. Maybe it's a great time to start to like shift the conversation and be like, hey, let's talk about the other two vertices. Do you want authoritarianism or do you want freedom? Because that's your choice. Th fundamentally, that matters more than any of these other gradations that go on on the scale. Yeah. Um, you're absolutely right. Are you authoritarian or not? That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, I will argue with you if you're like, I, I'm authoritarian socially, but not uh, economically. It's like, okay, well, I think you're wrong here, but not there. But we can have that discussion. Yeah. Be consistent, right? Um.